Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers. I'm looking at a book from Bloomsbury Publishing. It's the old Tottle Publishers, and it's this book here. It's on mediation called Mediator Skills and Techniques. Triangle of Influence. You can see the triangle uh, set up there. Uh, it's written by uh, Lawrence Boole and uh, Mariana Nessick. And the book is really in two parts. What you've got at the beginning is a whole series of statements on mediation skills and various exercises and the f how to do mediation, if I can put it that way. The second part is on things like the ADR directions, which the courts will have, and a whole range of other much more detailed information in the appendices. And at the back, you've got a detailed index. Now, my wife and I have written a review uh, my wife Elizabeth and I came up with a title, which is on Flickr and all the internet sites, saying, Legal disputes, can they really be resolved without resorting to litigation? Well, the answer is we say sometimes, but we're still working on mediation now as the first resort. This detailed review has appeared in a number of journals, so I'm going for the purposes of this short video to explain a little bit about what we think of this book. In the not-too-distant past, the only civil and satisfactory way to resolve a dispute was to resort to litigation with the expense and the time, which necessarily follows all sorts of aspects of formal court work. However, in recent years, this has changed, as I'm sure we're well aware, and the current orthodoxy is that the first stage in any contentious uh, matter should be mediation, sometimes known as ADR, or alternative dispute resolution. The aim is that it should be quick, cheap and informal. The problem, of course, is with the nomenclature of ADR, which can unfortunately generate some confusion, and it does so when you try to, to supply such information to the client. What these two authors have done, therefore, is to give us a really relatively simple approach to mediation, and I think it works. The approach, of course, is in contrast to the processes which an external person will actually use. That's uh, an official decision-maker like a judge. Obviously, you're using internal people who mediate. They come from an external source, but they're not binding with what they do. What the authors, therefore, have done here is to confine themselves exclusively to mediation, and they explore the rapidly uh, developing field um, which we now have. I think most people will agree that this is actually an excellent book because it gives you situations that you can look at to try to resolve. It's 800 pages, as I say. It's a heavy book as a, a paperback. Uh, it's got a lot of case studies and exercises. It's the sort of stuff you will do if you do the mediator's course. It covers a whole range of topic areas which are listed at the back. They're all very much uh, to do with... Uh, the approaches that you adopt, which is why this is an advice book, as well as a guide in my view. It says Triangle of Influence, and that covers fair process, understanding the people and the issues and the conflict, and the legal regulatory aspects, which are of course very important. So it does depend really on the nature of the dispute as to exactly what is happening. No, litigation itself is not necessarily going to be the right way forward with many of these problems. We found the section on avoiding mediator traps to be very useful in chapter 11. Um, I think very helpful for practitioners uh, because obviously we all try to lower the temperature when it comes to difficulties even in the courtroom or immediately outside between the warring parties. So I think to sum up what we're saying is this new skills guide is to be welcomed for the wealth and advice it offers on the most effective mediation skills uh, available and the techniques you use when resolving disputes without litigation. We're still working on it as the most suitable first resort and I hope that things will expand. So thank you very much to the authors and to Bloomsbury. Bye-bye.